This week, 191 new stalls were installed around North America, Canada, and the United States, not including Mexico, bringing the total to 52,434. Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub added one station, Pilot Flying J added two stations, mm -hmm. Tesla added eight, as is suspected. Uh, they just didn't post in time because of the holiday, but they do have two weeks worth of data here. ChargePoint added 37, they had a very good week. EVgo added one, EVConnect added six. Also, at a user request, I'm going to start tracking Francis Energy. I captured their data at the uh, end of last week's recording. Uh, no new stations have been added, but I will start tracking them going forward. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub. Their first Alfitronic charging station has been uh, entered into the database. They will be using ChargePoint as their back end. It's right here in Long Beach, California. There was an announcement that they were going to be pivoting from using ChargePoint Express Plus hardware to Alfitronics, and the first Alfitronic station has been spotted. Actually, not spotted, but entered into the database. I'm not sure if it's in plug share. I should probably go check that, but I haven't had time yet. Next one is Pilot Flying J. They added two. Phrasetown, Pennsylvania, and Sullivan, Missouri. I'm going to talk about this Phrasetown in, when I do a Pilot Flying J update. I, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. But this was a sleeper site. Didn't know about it. All of a sudden, there it was. One day, it appeared. Okay, the next one is Tesla. <clears throat> and as I said last time I did a update, there were no entries from Tesla. This time, there's basically two weeks. If you look at these dates, 627 and uh, going through this week. This one right here in Wilson, North Carolina is a 20 stall station and it's combined with 10 stalls of Circle K ABB Terra 184s. So it's a very large 30 stall site right on Interstate 95. Really nice work collaborating with Circle K, um, the Tesla supercharger team, uh, very noble of them. So it's a, it's a major charging hub on Interstate 95 now. Other ones to look at, the charging desert that was Alabama is getting filled in with Tesla. And once Tesla opens up their supercharger network, uh, things are very going to get um, much easier to traverse the deep south. Next one is ChargePoint. This is where I was able to spot the Alphatronics. Uh, it was up here. I think it's 626 is the date of that, so it's actually been around a while. But it just got entered into the database. Um, normal things to uh, normal things in this, but uh, really the big note is the number. Uh, it's a, it was a very busy week, and Parkway Volvo for me is an important station. It's near my brother-in-law's house, so I'm excited to go take a look at this. Uh, two new DC fast chargers going into the Volvo in Bloomington, North Carolina. Next one is EVgo. They did one station in Virginia. I'm not quite sure where this town is. Normally, when EVgo goes native, uh, they don't do it on interstates. They do it in city centers. Uh, the next one is EV Connect. They did six, I think. Yeah, six. Oh, they did one out of 7-Eleven. Interesting. You know, it's strange. Last week they did Kissimmee. They did two locations, and this week they're doing another one in Kissimmee. Hmm. I wonder if um, the property owner from last week also owns the 7-Eleven. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, um, Rivian Adventure Network and Francis have not added any. As an honorable mention, I want to 
bring up shell recharge. They did an eight stall station in Las Vegas. That's pretty large for them. And then two, two additional two stall stations, which may or may not be shell recharge. They also provide backend processing for independent CPOs. Uh, that's all the updates I have for this week. Thank you very much for watching.